Throughout the United States, state and local departments of transportation, or DOTs, as well as other infrastructure owners and operators are responsible for managing the performance and operation of connected and automated vehicle, or CAV systems. These systems contain complex interactions of various subcomponents which are crucial for facilitating road safety and mobility applications. This is why Connected and Automated Vehicle Education Software, also known as CAVERS, was introduced. CAVERS is a visualization tool that supports intelligent transportation systems or ITS messages and allows administrators to easily understand the different aspects of those necessary applications. CAVERS also allows for live monitoring as well as observations with little to no delay over a network. Additionally, ITS messages can be incorporated at any time and can be archived for further analysis and research. In this video, we will first learn about the use cases in consideration. Then we will learn about how CAVERS can be applied to existing ITS components and how different visualizations can become a part of the output. This CAVERS diagram shows the interaction between data flow and components. The messages are being exchanged between vehicles and between vehicles and infrastructure. The message sniffer that is part of CAVERS runs at the wireless network interface and captures the messages live. These messages are then processed by the stream parser and fed to the CAVERS core software that handles further steps. The stream parsers then publish the messages to the Kafka message broker which republishes the messages to web servers as well as the database. The end user application which is a web page to interact with CAVERS can access the messages live or through the database. We will specifically look at basic safety messages or BSMs and signal phase and timing or SPAT and MAP messages that encompass most of the vehicle to vehicle and vehicle to infrastructure messages in ITS. The following are use cases in consideration. Understanding how many BSMs are being received by a roadside unit or RSU. This can help with understanding traffic flows. Verifying SPAT to make sure the SPAT message is correlated with the signal and phase actuation. Verifying the map message to confirm that the lane and signal mappings are correct. Creating a helpful visualization for CAV application demonstration and testing. Let's start with BSMs. Here, you see a vehicle equipped with a vehicle kit containing an onboard unit, or OBU. As soon as the vehicle is started, it can broadcast BSMs to both the OBU and RSU. While the RSU is collecting messages going in and out of the wireless interface, a probing script is running. These messages are routed to the CAVERS core component that runs with the Kafka messaging service. Kafka is a published subscribe messaging service that easily allows for communication between CAVERS different components without exclusive connections. The incoming BSMs are first archived and pushed to the web service endpoint for immediate visualization. Here you can see a vehicle visualizing in real time on CAVERS software. This allows for the monitoring of test vehicles and research deployments. Now let's move on to how we observe SPAT and MAP messages which originate from infrastructure using Cave in a Box. As we learned in the Cave in a Box training video series, the Cave in a Box infrastructure and onboard kits are equipped with all of the necessary transportation radios, networking equipment, traffic control devices, and software to train, deploy, and test a scaled intelligent transportation system. The Cave in a Box has a signal controller that can generate SPAT broadcast messages. V2X Hub or Vehicle to Everything Hub processes these messages before forwarding them to the RSU for broadcasting. Map messages are forwarded to the RSU after a human readable form of intersection geometry and rules are uploaded into V2X Hub. These messages do not change on a regular basis. A CAVER probe setup in the RSU can capture outgoing messages. These messages are forwarded to CAVERS similarly to how they are in a BSM. They are visualized in a live plot. Here we see the SPAT and MAP messages are being recorded by CAVERS as a line plot. The SPAT messages are broadcasted 10 times per second or 20 times every 2 seconds. This video allows us to understand how messages that support CAV systems work. Additionally, it explained the interactive tool, CAVERS, and demonstrated one of the many ways to visualize these messages that are intended for safety of roadway users.